There can be only one podcast, and may it be the Prince of the Universe. Hi, folks. I'm Matt. And I'm Bonehead. I'm Brandon. Wes. No, we Brandon. Boneheads, according to the internet. Yes. Yes, the internet. The internet it's never wrong. Uh, At least it, there's one bonehead, duh, for sure, huh? Not you. Bed, duh. You're it's that other guy. Thanksgiving is upon us. Coming mm-hmm. up soon. Your and favorite I, holiday. It is my favorite holiday. I do Why is it your favorite holiday? Uh, I'm glad you asked. Um, I would like to ask a question before you answer that. Please. From him. Why is it your favorite holiday? Mm-hmm. I'm tired of him so jumping glad, in on me, I'm man. I'm so glad you asked. You are. Man. All right. Because um, I am thankful. I have a lot of things to be thankful about. I'm a very thankful person. And actually, this whole month, I have been personally thanking people um, throughout life and, you know, some friends and everything for certain things. But I want to make it a month of th- true Thanksgiving. Uh, I've always appreciated the holiday. Are you going to make an electric dedication to me tonight? Sure. Okay. Sure. No, I'm very thankful for you. Uh, we have known each other for, we have, we've Gosh. known each other for almost 30 years. Slow our roll. <laughs> we have. <laughs> and I am thankful for not just our friendship, but our continued friendship through time. It's hard to count the, the, the number of friends that mm-hmm. I have. They're as old as you. <laughs> they're dying know, out. In their 50s? In their early 50s? As, 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 as long as our has carried, yeah. there's not that many. Yep. There's not that many. And not, you know, People grow apart, we grow up, we move on. Some people who I knew back then, we live in the same town. I just don't see them anymore. I don't talk to them anymore. Some that I was best friends with. Isn't that weird? Hung out with, couldn't imagine mm. my life without going a one week without seeing them. That's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And now I rarely, I just saw a friend of mine uh, last week at a restaurant. I was sitting down, he came in, and I said hello. And I just thought, wow, he's been here. I have his number. We used to, he used to just basically live at my apartment back in the day. He was the guy that lived rent-free, sleeping on the couch every night. But uh, we all loved him, so we didn't care. Not the and guy at the volleyball game that was making bad calls. Not him. Oh. Definitely not him. But it was the guy that was, he was just one of the roommate. he was the fourth roommate who always hung out but never paid rent. But we all loved him because he was just a fun guy. And I started thinking, man, I don't hardly see him anymore. The last time we hung out, when was Beavis and Butthead? When did they come back out? Was like recently, MTV, wait. MTV did some another cartoon series about three years ago. Yeah, I'd say that about was that. The last time I think he came over, it was at my old house. And I said, "Hey, man," because we used to watch Beavis and Butthead all the time and laugh. And I said, "They came with a new season. You want to watch it with me?" He came over and we watched it together. But in three years, the laughs. Here, and I know where he lives. I know where he works. I know his. No, but we don't hang out. The laughs weren't the same. Much. Well, I mean, no, I mean, and I wait. I think we had a fun time doing that. But the yeah. Thing is, though, we got man, life, really, man. Uh, good friends as I have been with you and kept up with that friendship. I appreciate that. Another thing, uh, turn it on Brandon here. That Let's do I'm it. doing a double here. Um, that I'm very <laughs> thankful. I'm very thankful that I connected with you this year. Man, we I We talked a little bit text wise last year, but we never really mm-hmm. got and when you came down, I even told you this the first time you came over and did the podcast, it was really good to see you again. And I am very thankful that I have reconnected with you. Um, we, I was, you were on the way out when I was on my way in to car Wrong, school. backwards. Backwards. Uh, you were on the oh. way out, I was on the way in. That's what it was, mm-hmm. uh, vice versa. And then afterwards, whenever we'd see each other in a grocery store or outside, we'd, we'd say hello, and that's right. about it. Yeah. Now, you know, it was just, hey, yeah. Hey, man, what's yeah. up, man? What's man, up, man? yeah, you know, yeah. And uh, that we've reconnected, and you've been a good friend, because, I, mean, I mean, you do know who I am, but we haven't hung out in the past few years. And then you've been so helpful and instrumental in helping me out with all these little things around the house that I'm too stupid oh. to do. And <laughs> well, no, I mean, you're you're very gracious in giving me your time and expertise on that. And I'm serious. Well, well man, serious I, you're gonna make me cry, man. Well, Other no. than making his son cry. <clears throat> now that was unfortunate. Now that but, was unfortunate. But no, I, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> his firstborn. It, it speaks to <laughs> it speaks to who you are as a person. I and I told it. Megan when you had left, I said, "Man, that is really nice of someone who. I mean, you knew who I was. You knew my name." Yeah. But the thing is, though, we haven't we haven't hung out in years. We haven't done something. Yeah, yeah. And then you're like, oh yeah, man, I'll help. But not only are you saying that, you're actually doing it too. It's not just something that, yeah, man, we'll have dinner some, we'll have lunch sometime, and then you yeah. call them. And, and the thing is that that happens. That happens to everyone. But you're not like that. I appreciate that. You know, man. But, well, that's why I appreciate that too. So this is this is what I'm talking about here. I have a lot to be thankful for in my in my life. And the other reason is <laughs> why it's a perfect holiday. 
I've just always had fun. I love turkey, dressing, cranberries, all the stuff that comes with it. I love a good meal. Um, at my house, of course, you know, big family, lots of stuff to do. We sit around, we have fun, we play <laughs> games. I, I know it's not the same for you, but the thing is... It's a little but, different. It's just a little different. It sounds amazing. It sounds anyway, like how but, Hallmark but, but, Channel but, but was made was for these moments. That's my favorite. Yeah, that's why I was saying it. Well, that was my question, too. And it's just a fun time. There are no presents. <laughs> there are no gifts. There is no rush for it. It's, it's a holiday that gets passed over. Yeah. I mean, honestly, in, in this country, it is Halloween. That's for sure. Immediately Christmas. That's right. And again, yes, I love Christmas. Christmas is a lot of fun. I'm not saying Christmas sucks. But for me, Thanksgiving is that time of peace. And that yeah. just, just nice before the rush begins. Now, the thing is, for me, when I go to bed on Thanksgiving Day, I wake up, and it's to me, it's officially Christmas season. That's my, so that's I Kelly. Have, She's the same at way. The end of, at the end of Christmas, you're like, oh, crap. I got to be... You know, this weekend or next weekend, I got to take down all this crap and everything. And mm -hmm. I got to get back to work now and blah, 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 blah. And, oh, it's cold. You start thinking it's cold. There, you know, yeah. this, you know the, the season's kind of over for you. But for, for Thanksgiving Day, no, you have Christmas now next up. And now you have something to be excited right. about. So for that reason, just the placement of the holiday and where it's landed is just so nice to me. But the meaning of it a lot as I've gotten older has meant a lot to me. And it's also my brother. When I told my brother this story, he went, wow. I think Thanksgiving Day is my favorite day too. So he and I both share this same yeah. kind of holiday now. And that's not to say I don't love Christmas, <laughs> but I mean, when you ask me why it's so much, yeah, that's, and, um, you can tell, man. That's it's, the reason why. You're very passionate about that. You can see it, like you're like just when you were just saying, just telling, just being nice to me, and then obviously with Wesley. Uh, man, like you're, it's so genuine. It's, you can, it's not, it's just, it is what it is, and that you can tell, man. It's a it's very you're very passionate about it. Well, I would love to be able to see that through. I, I'm working on it. It's easy to do because as well, no, <laughs> we just don't, and, and just it's human nature. We go about our lives. We don't realize yeah. all the goodness we have. Because I mean, one of the things is I, again, I'm, I have to go back to Wes here. Um, when I was doing the show, and I could not have Wes on because I was doing this every night. I was at wow. practice every night. Wow. And I would have rather sit here every other week with Wes goofing off on a podcast talking i enjoy our time together i enjoy our pre-talk yeah together i enjoy our post conversations i just enjoy that it's 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 the grown-up time you know that I, I don't get to have much anymore and i appreciate that wes has to work around my schedule and wow. i and, I, well, and you too oh but, no but I'm you know what i mean oh. wes has to work around me. he's like oh, he's like thank you dude do we have to do it so late well yeah because one of the babies have to go to bed you know but, i ate at five but he say no and he has every right to say that and say, <laughs> i wish you could meet me in the can't we just do it earlier and can't you just do it? no i can't but i appreciate you and you're bending your, uh, around my time and everything i know you got to get up early sometimes to go to work yeah you got to be working what like 10 or something right well it doesn't it doesn't matter but i appreciate <laughs> it i'm just saying I'm just saying. Nine thirty. I'm just kidding. He stuff, has to I open. I appreciate. I appreciate. So yeah, this, for sure, man. I, I I can look instead of sending a text. Yeah. This year, I'm still gonna send a few texts out, but instead of sending a text to everyone, that is my Thanksgiving message to you. I want to do it face to face. <laughs> if I can't see some people these face to face, I have called some people and told them. I called someone the other day and I said, Hey, guess what? Four years ago, if you don't remember, I remember exactly where we were on this day. We were sitting in a lot, and I told him the story. And I said, four wow. years later, here we are. And, you know, I just said, thank you for, you know, I'm so, I'm so glad that friendship has stayed through here and blah, 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 blah. And, um, you know, he thanked me for it and everything. But that was, that that's what I want to, you know, it's kind of what I'm doing this year instead of just saying happy Thanksgiving Day to, you know. Sending out, the, sending out the meme across yeah. the board, the copy yeah, paste thing. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to do it in a lower capacity this year. But as many people as I can talk to Dude, that Over sounds phone, amazing. Face -face. That's so smart. That's the goal I want to do now. Yeah. And last year, I, I just counted down each day something I was thankful for. But this year, I thought, you know what? Why don't I just talk to those people and tell them what I'm thankful about? <laughs> I scheduled a back surgery on Thanksgiving, the day before Thanksgiving, so I did not have to have th Thanksgiving. <laughs> I mean, I look forward to it as well, but for probably different reasons. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the question. It's a true story. Yeah, I swear, like... Three years ago, <laughs> I didn't even told you that. Here it that. comes. <laughs> Here it comes. I did, but it just it made sense, you know, like I'm, all that crowd and hanging out and all that time and exposure and all that. You're ready for questions. <laughs> ready for questions. Thank you. Though. Why are you so red? <laughs> this is Wes's idea. Dude. 
Okay, again, we're asking questions from the box. I know it, this, it, it turned out to be not a, not a fun episode to listen to, but screw you guys. This is for our enjoyment only. <laughs> it's today. therapeutic, but man. I'll tell you, this is so funny. Um, now, again, I have not vetted and seen any of these stacks. In fact, there's a cover over the first I see the question, cover. So I don't even know what's going to happen, so we'll see. And it may not be as fun, but we'll see. Um, what was the style when you were in school, Wes? What was the style? That's a good question. <laughs> Interesting actually. that you would get that one. Uh, when you were in school, not once you grew up and you know got out in the real world. What was in style? What was in style for you? If you can't, Jabos, mm -hmm. guest jeans, um, Mojo, was Mojo. Mojo, that was Mojo, a high. that was Mojo, a high. Sh high. Mojo shirts, they're shirts, they're shirts. The shirt. black and white. Was it the shirt? It's yeah. black and white. Jinkos, Jinkos. That, that was, was the jean I was thinking about. That was a little bit. Late. That was, was after it? me. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I, I remember it from the mall. Like I, it had been like Jinkos was like a year or two 17, after 18, me. Yeah. Structure was really big here. Oh yeah, huge. Miller's Outpost. That no, kind of came. That was like chunky by. people clothes. No, I think Miller's Outpost was okay. I just I feel like it was chunky. <laughs> I think that was. I, was it women's clothes? I ended up there more than once with my mom buying me clothes. So I'm just asking. Oh boy. I had to wear her belts <laughs> that she made. So. No, okay. no. All right. Uh, Hold on. That, let's talk Mojo thing, man. That was the hot ticket. That was the shirt. You know, I never had a Mojo shirt. Always I wanted one. I had one, maybe two. You know they're still around. Look, I didn't say I didn't know they're still G around. Jinko's jeans was the thing I wanted, but never got. I had one I pair Jinkos. that I wore often, and Kelly made fun of me. I met her at summer school. I think I told you that before. Um, and I had on the Jinkos with the little ribbon. Now, I thought they were awesome. Turns uh, out they, they were terrible. Awesome. They had a ribbon. Yeah. She says a ribbon. It's more of like a stitching. Mm -hmm. like, it may look. have been the girl style. No, it wasn't. Was it the brilliant They were real tight in the in the butt area, but in the hips or you know. huh? What? It may have been. Okay. Hmm. All right. Anyway, did your mom get those jeans? Um, where, where, she made me stonewash where, jeans more stop, than once. Stop! Don't start. Hold on. Wait. Where were? <laughs> were you ever given any special awards for your studies or school activities? That's a no from me. Go ahead. Uh, I got funniest in my senior class. I, I think did. I saw that. Yes. That was the only award I got in school. <laughs> Had nothing to do with Why school. Why are you looking in my ear? I, this is driving me nuts. What was yours? Did you get an award or recognition in school? I think I told you about the one where I had sold the most uh, cards. I mean, the most tickets to raise money for families or whatever. And then they were giving away a boom box. And then some kid came in at the very end after the deadline turned in. Obviously, their dad gave him some Wait extra money. And you lost the boom box? I didn't get the boom box. Were you holding the boom box over your head, John Cusack? I never had a chance. Dude, I'm going to tell you. I swear to God. I swear to you this is true. In my mind, I was carrying that thing down the street so proud in front of all my neighbors, just jamming. But I never even got the box in my hands. Some other kid who everybody knew didn't sell the most tickets, they got it. She said they were selling tickets for families. Like to like like for like raising I was raising money for something. For like needy I think for like needy families or something like that. Okay. Anyway, going to the next question. I'm gonna have Wes read it. I didn't go to Riser, man. It was George Wells. That is the next question. Ask Brandon. Come on. Did your relationship with your family change in your teenage years? Uh, yes, uh, quite a bit. Um, specifically around that 10, but as at 13, it was quite different. Uh, you were describing, I'll use this as an example. You were describing your, uh, you were describing your Thanksgiving. And that sounds like all of my watched on TV that I really wanted. Whereas mine were a little bit different. Um, Did you have two Thanksgivings? I had, well, I had That's not too bad. <laughs> a lot of dysfunction. I had my dad's mother who had left. We had that side to go to. That was okay. one Thanksgiving. Um, I had my aunt mom's side of Thanksgiving I had to go to, the whole different side. I had my mom's I had to go to, and my, uh, her new husband's family I had to go to. You went to four Thanksgiving? In one day? Okay. No, that would be a, like about a three-day span, nonstop. It, just a lot of it. Oh, wow. Okay. But, I'm the, but in every one of them. Um, like the like my grandmother with all my other you know cousins or whatever. I'm the firstborn grandson. Are you? You wouldn't have known it because my we you wouldn't you wouldn't even known I was there. <laughs> like it was insane. So um, yeah, mine changed quite a bit. I had a lot more Thanksgivings to go to, and they were a lot more awkward. What was the most awkward thing about them? Probably um, like my grandmother with my dad's mom. 
uh, she would always give out like, you know, Hey, you know, happy Thanksgiving. She'd give like a, like an envelope it would be like something in it. An envelope. It, which would, which you would think would be money of some sort or some, something saying happy Thanksgiving. Yes. I never got one. And okay. I'm the only grandkid that didn't get one out of like that six or eight. So it's kind of sucked. That was awkward for me. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so did you ever find out what was in the, any of these other envelopes? It was definitely money. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Which was ironic because we were absolutely about as dirt dirt poor as, as, as you could possibly be. So it would have been nice. We grew up poor, and I didn't even realize it, but we had to eat, like, leftovers for, like, weeks on the end. And I thought, man, why are we keep getting the same stuff? And we'd get, like, liver and whatever. But it was whatever was on sale. Time. And we were, like, dirt. And the thing is, I didn't realize it. I guess the enough, oldest, uh, I got new clothes, but my brothers all wore the hand-me-downs. And there were patches okay. on the knees. <laughs> Of the jeans because mom would sew patches on them. I mean, I hate to be cliche, but that's what it was. And uh, I didn't realize because I always got new clothes. Uh, I'd like to. And uh, I just thought mom and dad just like eating the same thing every night. I'd I like swear to I say did. that I guess I wasn't dirt poor then. <laughs> if that the, that the way you oh. just you just described that's uh, you out. But, I, but the thing is though, I, had I was no an only idea. child though. And, and, and then yeah, yeah. talking about my teenage years, I then I remember when maybe I was Brandon 16. is gaslighting us about how bad his youth well, was. No, I'm, I'm, and I'm I feel not like trying, I'm not. Well, I, hold wait, on, hold, I'm not wait. trying to say. Oh, well, you think. Am you, I the? You don't know I feel like. Oh, no, I'm not trying to out. No, I'm not trying. No, you sounded horrible. Tell me about how I'm all your not, family was together no, and happy, no, no, and it was like. Was it like Willy Wonka? Yeah. No, we just. We but just, just happy. We didn't get that much. But the thing is, though, y'all we laughed a lot. I didn't realize that. Yeah, but you were happy. Was, well, I didn't realize we were living for until when I was like 15, 16. I told mm. my mom, I said, "Mom, you remember she used to give us liver, and we had to eat like chicken dumplings for a whole week and stuff, and you don't do that no more." She went, "Well, maybe that's because we didn't have the money back." Back then, we didn't have things that we had to, and, you know, and then I started thinking, oh my gosh, and then it all started flooding in, like that life was, we were poor, and I didn't realize it, because, you know, back back then. You don't know what you don't know. know. Yeah, you don't know what you don't know. Anyway, um, I'm not going to ask that question to you. You're not going to get to, okay, fine, did your relationship with your parents change? Did you start loving them when you were a teenager? (laughs) Quite the opposite. Did it drive you closer to them? I know what it was. I got a better one for you here. I want to read this one to you. Great. Who were you, who was uh, who were you closest to in high school? Who was your closest friend? Cass. I knew that. I knew that. For Cass sure. Cass is a good guy. Yep. He's a good guy. Is he coming in for Christmas again? Uh, I know he's going to come in for Thanksgiving for sure. I don't know about Christmas. Okay. He's a good guy. I like him. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Brandon. Chad Johnson. I don't know that one. Mm. Okay. He ran cross country. I definitely didn't. I don't know how we were just we just were just buddies, man. I don't know. We just got real tight. And Jeremy White, tie for first. Are you still close with those guys? No, no, of course not. Okay, I don't know they that's fine because I mean, I, 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 mine was probably Patrick Trissler. I'm still friends with him. We don't hang out as much. We talk every once in a while. I see him here and there. <clears throat> I mean, just actually last week we were supposed to hang out, but I had to do the show, and so I told him I couldn't hang out with him. Um, but you know, really good guy. Um, but, uh, we were best of friends, you know, we mowed grass together. It was right before I started working at the mall and everything, you know, high school guys, that's what you did for jobs, Oh, I did. Right? I mowed, mowed your... lawns all summer long. Dude, my adulthood, he, I, I had an empire. He had his own, yeah. Had an empire. Side right? business. Yeah. Competition there. Uh, uh, <laughs> where did you hang out with your friends and how did you spend your time together when you were younger? That's a good question. I actually like this question. Hmm. Um, younger, like younger age, like on on Ironwood, where I where I originated, um, that's where the Cobras were. We did a lot of, uh, man, we played a lot of ball, a lot of basketball, football, all that kind of stuff. Uh, interesting. Also, what drove me from the neighborhood was the my my enjoyment of playing basketball. <laughs> that's why we moved. My dad, the basketball pinging off the ground bothered him pretty bad. <laughs> So we built a new house and moved. It was wild. And we almost sold his new house because there was a dog behind it that barked a whole lot. And he couldn't sleep because of it. But I'll be... Hey, he told me he would... I said, man, sleep in my room. I'll just sleep in the master bedroom. Because he would come in there and be like, you hear that dog? (laughs) I'm like, what are you talking about, man? Trying to sleep, you know, or do something. If I'm going to be miserable... (laughs) You're going to be miserable, too. <laughs> Bro, don't let this dude's ear lock up. It's we over did, with. We did a lot of basketball. Yeah, did, it was fun. We did camping. Yeah, you know, I just know. Things you, things you do. I got drugged to motorcycle rallies everywhere. 
I mean, I love this. Was it, was it rad? It was not as rad as rad. <laughs> <laughs> it was all right, but I mean, there's no other kids. There was like one other girl. Like, there's a there's a girl there. We kind of hung out a little bit. I mean, it wasn't like my first love, but <laughs> I'm just saying, there was just a friend there. Okay, you got a little dreamy eye there for a minute. I'm sorry, I sleep. Oh, we can, it doesn't matter. I'm out. Did y'all ride bikes together? No, we were been older at that point. I mean, I'm going to make Did y'all just walk bikes together? Prom? Did you dance at the prom on your bikes? No, like that would have been awesome. That, no, that would have been rad. She, it would have been rad. <laughs> <laughs> she was a cool girl, man. I, th I think I probably what was. was her name? Oh, God, I shouldn't say that. She's still around. I still see her around here and there. No, I mean, hey, okay. You don't have to give everybody's last name. I didn't give anybody's last name. All right. Well, I mean, I'm not. So. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love yeah, it. Yeah, so okay. Spencer. I think playing video games was what we did. Yeah, we did a lot of that. And then shooting basketball. I think everybody shot basketball because it was the easiest thing to do. Yeah. You didn't have to get a group of people together. Two, you play yeah. one on one. You're two good on to go. Yeah, it was easy to do. You didn't do that many people. Very simple. And uh, church for a short period of time. Look at you. Yep. Look at you. Mm -hmm. We'd love. I to was have convicted. You back. Well, we would love to have you back. Love to have you back. You look like a youth minister. You know what's interesting? You got your ponytail, yep, your bracelets always, everywhere, your big earrings. Yep. You happened to go into church with Brandon. I thought you were doing that. I yeah. did it for a little bit. I you got mad because I talked to people there. No, that was not why. Oh. That well, was not why. Quit going. <laughs> it's just playing. I've asked. I have asked. He has asked. He's hey, we have a great the, series. I'm glad you brought that up. At the movies this coming week. <laughs> I'd love to have you there. It's popcorn and movies. You'll love it. Very hands off, <laughs> very low interaction. Level. I love how you're painting me in this corner right now. <laughs> okay, just good job. Tis you really season. are quite the artist with Tis your painting. You're really good. Keep going. What were you gonna say? Oh, that, I'm wrapping it up. Mm. Okay. Um. Okay. Let me see. Wes's answer is gonna be very long. This one. What rebellious things did you do as a teenager? <laughs> um, I was very difficult to manage in the fact of if I did not understand the purpose of what was going on, I could not buy into it. And if someone told me to do it because that was the way we were supposed to do it, it made me bucket harder. And it's been a challenge my whole life. I was going to say, say teenager or <laughs> since you've been alive? Teenager. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, what's different than today? I was train hopping a lot. <laughs> No, you didn't. Yeah, you drop on the train in West Monroe and then jump off of it. And oh, I've always wanted to do it. Never really? Had to I used to do that. You Come know? on, man. And then the other thing. No <laughs> way. As a teenager, yes. No wow. way. Wow. Me and my brothers used to do it, and then my oh, little brother so did it, but we never ripped. told mom, and he's there sitting in the kitchen talking about train jumping, and I'm like, shut up, you know, because I'm already out of the house by then. Oh well, my God! What were you doing? Blah, blah, blah. He, and then Caleb, being the biggest doofus, goes, "Well, Matt did it all the time, and you never got." I said, "I didn't say it right in front of her, doofus." <laughs> you know, but she couldn't get me drunk. Man, let's go do the that. Was, let's go do that. No. Yes. No. I, I you used, know what the scariest part is? Put, jumping used, off. That is exactly right. Jumping off. It is rocks. Wait, wait, wait. It wait. is hard. Just wait till it stops again. Rocks. Like when it's no, it keeps going, and even though it's going slow, you don't it know where it's not. You've got to get slow. off. When you dismount, you have to get off. Let's go do it. I'll do no. it. No. I'll do it. Didn't you do that schedule back surgery on Thanksgiving? I don't think <laughs> jumping out of the train avoid is family. a good this idea. That's why he wants to do it. <laughs> this is to avoid family. So anyway, I got another Thanksgiving coming up, <laughs> anyway, man. I can't go to another Thanksgiving. Is, we couldn't watch R-rated movies, but we could watch anything PG or whatnot. So I, my, according to my mom, I saw Forrest Gump seven times in theaters over the summer. I had never seen Forrest Gump. I watched Die Hard with a Vengeance and all the other uh, uh, action movies. You know, you had I the stuff. You know, mm, and you, you back then. theater hopped. But I just kept telling her I was going to go watch Forrest Gump again. You theater hopped, or whatever the movie that was sure. We I'm gonna try it that again all summer long. Third time's a charm. You theater hopped? <clears throat> Is that what? No, train hop. Okay. I mean, theater hopping. Whatever. Magic. What about you? What rebellious thing did you tell us? I can't remember. It probably wouldn't have been impactful. I didn't do a lot of rebellion, man. I, I don't know. Okay. The next question is, who was that girl you dated as a teenager? Oh, uh, I don't remember. You can't give her name now? I can't remember it. It's weird. Stephanie. Oh, no. 
Yeah. I remember Stephanie. Dude. When I first met there you, was a Jackie. you were with Stephanie. Yep. And I'm so pissed because I can't find that picture now. I am too. Because I had a picture of him and Stephanie uh, together. It was uh, at the card show. I think you were selling the... Uh, yeah, um, it's Star Wars toys. Star Wars toys. And I said, wow, where'd you get these? And, what, I mean, and you, we were talking about it for a while. Mm -hmm. so were they new or used place. or what? No, stuff from when I was a kid and stuff yeah. that I had bought over the years. And but that's that's how I met him. Yeah, and originally. Oh, wow. Like He just walked up and we just started talking as kids. And then somehow or another, we reconnected in the mall and just... Yeah. But didn't up. realize it, I think, until later on. That's that really was, neat, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I was like, oh, wait a minute, you were at the toy collection thing. I remember that, so yeah. Hmm. Um, anyway. Who was the girl you dated? No one. Okay. Uh, the first person I dated was in college, and her name was Ashley Harper. And you know how that ended. From the restaurant. Yeah. It's a great story. You were there. It's a great, yeah, story. It's a great story. I love the way you tell that story, and you <laughs> make me such a villain in the you story. You weren't the villain. I just thought, I, what I'd happened like is it. this dude was coming in, talking about how he hooked up with one of the waitresses, and I was like, oh, okay, and where do you work? And he told me, and that's where my girlfriend worked. Well, I didn't say anything. I said, who? And he said her name. Oh, no. So she was cheating on me with him. Now, he didn't know. But oh, goes, no. Cuckoo, ain't that your girlfriend? Oh, and I man. said, not anymore. Wait, that was at Cars like, Coins, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, at Cars Coins. Right. And the dude goes, whoa, whoa, she never told me. <laughs> oh, I'm not mad at you. Man. I'm not mad at you. I'm thanking you, man. So I appreciate that it. that was something. But, oh, you know. Wait, did you know it ahead of time that... Well, he had well, talked we didn't, to. We didn't know that this guy. Was okay, all right. right. We didn't know. I didn't know if, like you was, said about the villain. I didn't know if you telling, knew the whole time. He was a guy that came in every once in a while, okay. get a pack of cards or whatever, and he was just talking about this hot chick. You're talking about Bruce? No, no, no. no, no just no, teasing. No, no, no. There's someone we didn't know, but but the thing is, I said, "Where do you work?" And I was like, "I was like, okay, what's her name?" And I was like, and I went, "What?" No, this guy obviously <laughs> oh didn't know that I was gosh. the boyfriend or whatever, and obviously she didn't tell him. But like, yeah, she didn't. She didn't. It was funny. I know, but it's funny that I didn't like pull you to the side and go, hey. It, he I did. just like just shouted it you out. Just went, Your life just got like, rattled. Let me be sure to make fun went, of it immediately. Go, 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 that's your girlfriend? Let like, me when he said her name. Throw gasoline name. on the fire. That was so great. That was so great. <laughs> oh, speaking of fire, she died actually in fire. Oh. A few years back. So, yeah. Ouch. Yeah. I hate the eyes. Oh. It's a hard out. Oof. Next question. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. Anyway. Man. What was the most memorable? Oh uh, no! What was the most memorable date as a teenager? I didn't have one, so go ahead. I don't know. My dad pretty much was. With You're me still all not the time. giving names. Okay, fine. No, I didn't uh, really date anybody. I, I think probably mine and Stephanie's first date would be my memorable date. We went to Cuckoo's in Monroe when it was there. If you remember I where remember Cuckoo's that. was? Yep. And uh, ate and hung out, and then we went to Forsyth Park and hung looking out. for looking for love in all the wrong places. There you go. Mm. The swing set. Mm. Did you want to say something else? I did think about uh, Amanda. Was another. It was a different. This other girl. My first date. What? <laughs> okay. okay. What? Anyway, uh, you that girl's name so is Jennifer. Red right now. I'm he sorry. Is I got so I mean, red. I just got thought of anything about it. I so it. I took her a rose and stuff on our first date and the whole deal. <laughs> Listen, because I thought that's what I'm sure. I'm, I don't know. That's what somebody told me to do. So whatever. But maybe bad. Good advice. I don't know. We it showed do, up. We got to do a live stream of this here because you're <laughs> <safe> <laughs> <with>. <laughs> The great. bad thing is I called her the next day and I was like, you know, reaching out to her. That's back when you, you called her home phone, you know, but her mom never told her I called her. And, uh, and so it's t it took years. She just quite quit talking to me. And I thought, this is unbelievable. I thought we had a good time. I thought she called her one time, a couple times, but I saw her at school and I would be like, you know, trying to, Hey, you know, it, what, I'm not good at that. My, I don't really have a lot of game as you would say, <laughs> Believe it or not, I know, right? So Your you, wife is happy to hear that. Oh, you, she knows. You she knows I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, didn't have the ability to say, hey, I called you last night. I, I should have. I pro had probably probably 200 opportunities. And I'd see her in the grocery store because she worked at the grocery store. I mean, and I would say, I'd make it a point to go by and say, hey. But her, I was like, man, I guess her mom doesn't like me. I guess I better be out. And I, but I didn't mean, I'd have a mom. I had one. She just left, so I don't know how to like deal with moms. Whoa, whoa, what happened to your mom? 
Oh, not a fire. Oh, uh, you know what? <laughs> Uh, close, an affair. <laughs> a fire affair, close, whatever. I'm just I'm teasing. <laughs> that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Write that down and put that in my notes in your phone about my funny one. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's uh, all the time we have for today. <laughs> We're done. It's a hard um, end. Yeah, this is fun. Hard out. We- <laughs> Wes is get back on the mic. <laughs> Do you have a follow-up we question to that? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I just think a good way to wrap all this up is we started this podcast talking about Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. And I asked Cuckoo what he was thankful for. Yeah. Um, and I tried to put a little shine on me, and he was very gracious in doing that. And to you. Yeah, I felt it. And then the end of this, you said <laughs> you did not lose your mother to a fire but to an affair <laughs> that's pretty good put that in my notes i want to make sure i forget that it's one. in podcast history gobble gobble everyone <laughs> we'll see you next time on princess the universe <laughs>